Okay, so some of you might not know how to download the file from Q website, so we're going to go ahead and do that together. That is going to be for everybody if you didn't download the file for tonight. to go to my downloads so I'm going to my email and then you go to her download because it says your download is ready and then you just go ahead and click the link and then it says download now then it's gonna be right here in the corner I am using a PC yeah PC so what you have to do is once you click on it you have to extract all it's right there extract all then you have another box to come up and then click extract and so this is the cameo everybody okay <clears throat> so just like we did before we downloaded the file and uh, with the silhouette is easy peasy okay. all right so what you want to go ahead and do is go to file in the left hand corner Click that, go to open, and then you want to click the file that is above that. Go ahead and click OK. Okay, so this is the size that I have. It's coming up as 12.250. The height is 11.677. So y'all know with me, I do not like boxes. So I am going to right click. I am going to release the compound. This is basically, I'm taking away the box. This is just me. You can leave yours alone, but I do not like the box. So basically, I just got away the box. So now I'm going to select it. And I am going to right click. And I'm going to group. So now I can move it without a box. Again, that's me. I prefer not to have the box but if you would like the box you don't have to do any of that you can keep yours as is and for the silhouette okay so while I'm here for the silhouette is that if you're using holographic you always want to mirror your image so you will go to object you will go to mirror you will click on flip horizontally just like you do any t-shirts it's just like you do t-shirts you have to flip your your um, design horizontally okay so then you will go ahead and click sand. This is only for the people that is doing holographic for silhouette, not flock. So please don't get this confused. So you will go to your material. You will do a drop down. And then you will scroll down to, um, I use um, heat transfer glitter. Or I use 
vinyl glitter. It's the same, but I keep, make sure that this is at a cut. This gray box is cut. And I keep the force the same. And then I select the passes for two. It depends on what material I'm using, so.